Welcome to this quick introduction of Servicely. Focus for today is around service desk automation and how we use artificial intelligence to allow customers to do more with less, saving costs and improving service experience. Uh, what we see over here is our out-the-box service portal, fully configurable and customizable to meet your specific requirements, uh, where an employee via self-service is able to come in and request um, a service or log an issue. In our scenario, I have a contractor starting tomorrow. I need to ensure that they have Wi-Fi access. And as part of that, I need to request a Wi-Fi access token for them. Traditionally, that would be done by sending an email to the service desk. And then in three to five days time, I may get a response. Uh, that doesn't work for me. Person's arriving tomorrow. I need this set up and I need it set up now. So if we have a look at the service lead platform, I need a guest Wi-Fi access token. We see the Sophie Intelligent Virtual Agent, which is integrated with our service lead platform, uh, understands what we're looking for and understands that we need a guest access pass for the wireless network. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Okay, can you please tell me who this is for? It's for John Wayne. Uh, when is it required from tomorrow? Oh, it's going to be on site for a week. Uh, confirming the details, noting that we convert the dates to the correct dates. Is this correct? Yes. <clears throat> and Servicely is able to, via integration, go off and automate that provisioning. Uh, confirming that the SSID and the passcode and that those details have been emailed to me. Anything else? No, that's all good. Problem solved. So Servicely is able to, via the self-service, deal with any of the high volume uh, low complexity calls ranging from passwords, resets, account access issues, uh, following up on call statuses, etc. If we now have a quick look on the service agent side, we see our standard incident form um, as part of our ITSM suite that we provide out the box. And we extend our automation to the service desk agent. So in this issue, in this instance, um, somebody's called in and said SAP session is locked. Based on historical calls, uh, the system is able to identify the classification, the service and the assignment group and set those values automatically. It takes it a step further and understands that there's an automated action that it can take to actually go and check that session. So ordinarily, the service desk agent would swivel chair, go and check the details, come back and say, yep, I can see it is locked. And they would then take the next step, which is unlock that particular session. What we see is the system has understood that the session is locked and as a result has prompted the service desk agent with the next most probable action to take, which in this instance is unlock the SAP session. We execute the unlock SAP session, confirm that the session is unlocked and we set the call to resolve. So really streamlining the whole process around um, so, uh, so service desk agents being able to uh, reduce the call handle time significantly. <clears throat> if we have a look at another example, um, one of them may be somebody calls in, uh, Daniel's called in, and he may have an issue with um, resetting of his Salesforce password. So what we're able to do is reset Salesforce password. And again, we see the system automating call classification and assignment. Uh, but also prompting us with there's a recommended action to take. Now, actions can have what we would term side effects, i.e. they actually go and do something, and you may not want those to be done automatically in machine time versus other actions that do things like checking the status of a particular record, as in our previous example, and then prompting us with the action that we'd want to take. In this instance, we have an automated action that is email the link to the requested um, for user to change the password, I were to execute that action. What you see over here is confirmation that password's been reset and email has been set, uh, sent. Again, we can do a simple set and resolved, and that's completed. Throughout the system, we're using state-of-the-art natural language to really understand the user's request. So if I had to do another example over here and say over here, John Williams had called in and add Dion to the marketing distribution list. What we'll see <clears throat> is the system 
automatically prompts up and says, okay, we'd like to, you'd like to add to a distribution group. The user you're doing it for is Dion. Which group? Marketing. You can see that it extracted that from the description we provided. I can do submit and you can see that the user has been added successfully. So we can see using the service lead platform, a number of areas where we're using artificial intelligence to drive automation, improving the service desk productivity, reducing the costs of the service desk by driving more self-service resolution, whilst also reducing call handle time. And all of this is built on a enterprise service management platform that allows you to extend beyond pure IT processes. So for example, out the box, we do provide support for HR case management, uh, contract management, uh, and you can easily extend the platform to any custom non-IT workflows that you have. All of those workflows have full access to the intelligent um, engine embedded in the Service League platform. If you'd like to have a more detailed discussion and deep dive into the various aspects, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you and show you what we're doing here at Servicely to improve service desk productivity whilst lowering the operating costs. Look forward to speaking with you.